Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. And I think to myself, what a wonderful So today's video is going to be my April empties. I have a ton of stuff to share with you guys and I'm actually like really excited because I've made some great progress on a lot of things. So if you guys are interested in seeing what I finished up last month, then just keep watching. So I'm going to start off with all the Bath and Body Works stuff because I know that's probably what you guys want to see first. And actually, I have a ton to show you. So I'm going to start with candles. I finished off six candles last month i know crazy so the first one i have is vanilla bean marshmallow this was in my project wax if you haven't watched that it is a like project pan um based on finishing up my candle collection but this is the progress that i had it took me about two months to get through this i was already like halfway through anyways um and then i finished this out on my candle crock because it had started to turn kind of like burnt smelling but this was like literally delicious it it was such a good scent up until about I would say like the halfway point um and then it started getting burnt smelling that could have been easier maybe i had it burning for too i just broke my necklace anyways maybe i had it burning for too long um but yeah i really really enjoyed the scent i definitely would get it again next year or if they come out with again i think they came out with something similar or maybe the exact same thing for easter um, so yeah, I definitely would consider getting it again. The next Bath and Body Works candle that I finished up is White Caramel Cold Brew. And this is definitely one of my favorite candles ever. Um, it took me about three months to get through it. Can you see the progress lines actually? Here they are. Um, one, two, three. And um, it basically smells like caramel. There's like barely any coffee in it at all. Um, and I actually kind of burnt myself out on it because I burned it so much trying to finish it. So probably won't do that again, but I do already have whipped coffee, which smells very, very similar, if not exactly the same. So I don't need to worry about getting another one of these soon. So, but yeah, very, very gorgeous. I love the packaging. This is from, I think last spring. Yeah, 2020 spring. So very good one. The next one I have is Merry Cookie. I got this one at Candle Day. It only took me about a month to finish up. I was about halfway and then I just finished it. Um, it burned like all the way down and I moved it. That's why the wax looks kind of funny, but it smelled really good. It smelled like cookies, very like basic scent, um, but I probably would pick it up again um, at either SAS or Candle Day. Um, it's, a, it's a good scent. It's like fairly plain and simple. So if you're looking for like a simple bakery scent, it's really good. Um, and then I got hot cocoa and scream, which is basically just hot cocoa and cream. Um, it said that it was a deep dark chocolate instead of milk chocolate. I've never had hot cocoa and cream, so I can't tell you if there was a difference or not, but I really enjoyed this. It made my whole room smell like chocolate. So good. I'm definitely going to pick this up again when it comes out in the fall. Um, it usually comes out every year in the fall and the winter. But yeah, I love this packaging too with the witch riding her broom and it was actually luminary packaging. So you can see like the little dots here for the stars. It actually shone through with the flame. Really, really pretty. A great burner. Burned all the way down. Beautiful wax. It didn't get sooty or anything. So definitely a good burn. And then I have two Goose Creek candles that I finished. I finished Let's Stay Home. This is actually, I think, a cashmere blend, I want to say. Um, it only took me two months to finish it up. It was actually in my bathroom. It burned amazingly, like literally down to the wax, the wick clips in here. And I had to blow it out because I didn't realize it had gotten that far. But yeah, this one burned amazingly. I mean, it did have some residue on the sides, but that doesn't really bug me too much. But I didn't enjoy this scent that much, but I would definitely consider buying these three wicks again because it, it burned amazingly with very little soot. So that was really good. And then um, total opposite of that, very sooty. This is white icing cinnamon roll in the big jar candle. And I finished this out on the warmer. It looks like concave because I put it on my candle warmer or my candle crock because the scent had gotten so like, it smelled burnt. This thing soots like crazy. These, these double wick big jar candles soot like crazy. Um, it got really bad. You can tell there's like some sitting around here and it, it just smelled burnt. And no matter what I do, even if I poured out the wax, it would just get like that burnt wax in it again. So I just finished it out on the candle crock. I probably had like a few more days of this, but I got so sick of this scent that I just put it in the empties and I used it as much as I could reasonably without getting like sick from it. Not gonna get it again. I probably won't purchase these jar candles again. 
They last too long for me to reasonably go through it without getting sick of it, in my opinion. And they're just way too sooty for my preference. Um, I would rather get like the three wicks and know that I'll get a good burn out of it rather than getting the big jar candles. So that's everything for candles. So that was six candles. Yay. <laughs> um, now let's move on to body care. The first thing I have is actually kind of weird. Um, this is Vanilla Bean Noel in the Whipped Confetti Body Scrub. I had to put it in a Ziploc bag because I was getting sugar ants in my shower trying to get sugar out of this sugar scrub. I've never had those little bitty ants in my bathroom ever in my life. So it was definitely the scrub, they were all around it. I had to like clean off this scrub and I just put it in the bag because that's kind of like grosses me out. Um, it was almost finished, I probably had like a month left of use on this, but like I can't do that, that's gross to me. So I probably won't repurchase a sugar scrub. I had never even thought about that. Um, but yeah, definitely not. That just like creeped me out. I will move on to a different scrub and I probably will not purchase sugar scrubs from them ever again. So anyways, a few hand soaps that I finished. Um, we got through Kitchen Mandarin, Purely Clean. This was downstairs in our kitchen. So good. It definitely smells exactly like Mandarin. Like if you're peeling a cutie, that's exactly what this smells like. So yummy. Raspberry Tangerine, absolutely amazing. I got this at SAS. I think I got all these. Well, I got these two at SAS. Um, I usually just like stock up on soaps twice a year at SAS. Um, but raspberry tangerine, so yummy. I probably will try to look for this again um, for summer SAS and pick it up. And then hip hop hooray sprinkled donut, so yummy. It was like a sugary, sweet kind of scent. Didn't really last that long, but it was nice while I was using it. And I picked this up in like a set for Easter. So that was pretty good. Some um, lotion I finished off, Vanilla Mocha Cafe Body Lotion. This is from the fall. I'm kind of sad to see it go. It smelled so good, but it was in my project. Um, here's the progress lines on it. Took me quite a few months to finish up. Um, I had it in the fall project and then I like put it back in my collection. So when I brought it back in, I think it was actually like either right here or right here when I brought it back into my project, use it up for um, the spring. So just glad to have it finished because I didn't want to leave it for too long in my collection, but super good scent. I will definitely get another like coffee scent if they come out with one again. I think th that in my opinion was a really good scent. Um, the next thing I have are some shower gels. So this one actually my brother finished. This is Sweater Weather. Um, I got this last fall and I kind of hated it because it smells like manly. Um, and so I tried to use it and I just never got I just never got into it and I left it in the shower and I told my brother, hey, this one smells kind of manly. Like if you want to use it, it's it's all it's all for you. Go ahead. And he never really touched it until his shower gel ran out like last month and then he started using it and he was like, oh my God, this smells so good. Can you get me more? And I was like, no, I can't because it only comes out in the fall. <laughs> so, but I'm a good sister and I bought him two off of Mercari um, and I told him I'll buy him more when it comes out again, probably in either late July or August because this is always the first thing that come out, comes out, this and Bonfire Bash. So it'll be out soon again, but it smells really good. I definitely recommend getting this for like your SO if you have a boyfriend and you want to get him something that smells good. It smells like juicy apples, but with a little bit of cologne. It smells really good. The shower always smelled like really yummy after he got out. Like it smelled fresh and bubbly. It smelled so good. And then I have Santa's Blueberry Shortbread Shower Gel. I got this at this past winter SAS, but it is from 2020 winter. So this is a good scent. However, it smelled really artificial blueberry. So I didn't like that, but it still is a really, really good scent, even besides like the artificial blueberry smell. So really, really yummy. Sad to see it go, but it's probably for be for the better because it is from 2019, so. Um, and then I have a Pretty as a Peach mini shower gel. They actually just repackaged this, but this one is from 2018. Um, I think I just picked this up with like a free coupon really yummy. Um, I don't think I'd ever get Pretty as a Peach in a full size, but I definitely would get it again in a mini. It was very refreshing, especially like to use right after like I, I either went on a run or I was like really sweaty after a workout. This was like a really good scent to use. Another body care item I finally finished up, Frosted Wonderland. It only took me, well, actually all my progress lines like totally wiped away, but here's the last one. Um, it only took me maybe like eight months but this is from 2014 so i definitely needed to use it up honestly my favorite scent it's so nostalgic for me i'm so sad to see it go i might even just keep the wrapping on here just so i can smell it every now and then because there's like a tiny little bit little 
little tiny bit so I can just smell it and um, be, feel nostalgic. But yeah, I finished it up. I'm very happy to have finished up a full size body mist because I need to start going through those. And then another um, body care item is the Mary Cookie hand cream. I actually already used up one of these in the uh, winter time and then I bought another one at SAS. Super good in my opinion. Like a really, really yummy vanilla buttercream kind of scent. Super good. I did fin finish off the Lake and Sky 1111 Perfume Oil Mini. I don't like perfume oils and I didn't like this scent. It's it's definitely a unisex kind of scent, like a little more masculine to me, but I could definitely see anybody wearing this scent. I just, it wasn't my personal favorite scent. So didn't like it, glad to have it finished. Um, the next thing I have are some pocket backs. So we have Stay Magical Unicorn Petals. My mom got this at an SAS and now that I'm looking at it, look, it has like a little bit left. We probably could get a little bit more use out of it. I'm gonna tip it over and put it downstairs. We could probably get a few more uses out of this one actually. Um, and then I have Champagne Toast. So good, so yummy. Um, I don't even know when I picked that up. And then Slay All Day Merry Cherry Cheer. That's from this past winter. Really good scent. I miss Mary Cherry Cheer in the body care. It was a really good scent in body care. They didn't bring it out last year, but they did in 2019, yeah. And then I've got a lot of wallflower plugs actually. So this one is just a Glade Airwick one. Um, I think it's like the laundry scent. We got it to put in um, the garage where my dad works um, on his bikes and stuff. So it always kind of smells a little stinky in there. So we put this. And that's where the trash goes to. Um, and then a thanks and giving. Oh my God. We got this um, at Winter SAS, probably put it in in January and it had lasted until last month. So it lasted like four months basically. So yummy. It smelled like literally like caramel. It smelled so good. The whole downstairs of the house smelled like it. So yummy. We'll definitely get this again if it comes out next year and I'll get it in a candle because it smelled so good. And then the three that we have going currently right now, we have Frosted Forest in the garage right now for my dad. Um, this is like a really, it's like, it smells like trees. <laughs> it's uh, Frosted Juniper, Iced Eucalyptus, and Evergreen Branches. It smells like a tree. We have Autumn in the bathroom. It's just like a super apple-y, um, Gala Apple Juicy Fig Eucalyptus Leaf. Great one for the bathroom. And then in the kitchen, I put Peppermint Brownie, which is crushed candy cane, rich mocha, and whipped cream. This is from, I don't know what year, but this is a really old one. Um, let me know if you remember what year, maybe 2016, 2017. Like I've had this since college probably um, and never used it, but I opened it up and it smelled so good. It literally smells like brownies in the kitchen. It smells amazing. Um, now that it's died down a little bit, it just smells like sweet, but I love it. it smells really good. Um, okay, I think that's everything for like all the Bath and Body Works type stuff. I have a few other random things. I have a Skin to Mint Skin Therapy um, Shave Gel. I always get Skin to Mint. I don't know why I never get the name, the off brand. I always get skin to mint. I don't know. Um, and then Degree Motion Sense Ultra Clear Black and White Deodorant. I really love this. If you guys like ones that don't um, get on your clothes, get the Ultra Clear Degree ones. So that's a little random tidbit. Oh, and then I forgot this is from my car. This is Strawberry Pound Cake. Yeah, it didn't last that long. It maybe lasted like two months, not very long. But it smelled really good while it was in there. Okay, to wrap it up, I have some makeup and some skincare. So I'll start with makeup. I did finish off my Yinsa BC foundation. This is a little sample that I got in Ipsy like four years ago and I finally finished it. It was actually a really good um, foundation. It's kind of like a CC cream. And then I finished off the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Medium 20. Actually, the tip of the concealer like the wand fell off so it's just like a tip it's pretty much finished i maybe had like another month worth of using it see like i had like that much left but the tip broke off so i can't use it anymore um i also finished off a candy cane chapstick i got this in a set during christmas time super yummy just tasted like mint or smelled like mint didn't really taste like anything um and then the butter london double decker lashes mascara I got this also, I think in a boxy charm, um, but by the time I got to using it, it was like super dry. So I only had to, only got to use this for like a few weeks, like three weeks or so. So that's a dud. And then skincare, I have a Mary Kay Clear Proof 
Clarifying Cleansing Gel. This is for um, acne prone skin, so I usually use this at nighttime when I'm in the shower. Pretty good, I like it a lot. Um, it definitely has helped with my um, texture that I have on my skin. And then the Body Shop Vitamin E Overnight Serum Oil. Um, I really like putting on an oil like a couple times a week at night because I do have combination dry skin and so I like putting this on. It feels really hydrating. So I did like this. I have a lot more oils to get through though. And then I finished off a mini Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate. I didn't see any difference in my skin when I was using this. Um, so I probably won't purchase the full size. It's probably just not meant for my skin type though. I did finish off a Mary Kay Satin Lips Lip Mask. Um, I've had this for a long time and I just didn't really use it. But now that I have braces, my, my lips get chapped a lot easier. So I had been using this pretty much every night or every other night and yeah, it was pretty good. I also finished off a Cosmetics Detox Activated Charcoal Mask. This is like those charcoal masks, but I think it also has exfoliants in it. Um, and yeah, I, I liked it. I didn't notice like too much of a difference for me and my skin because my skin's just been bad for like the past year with wearing masks and stuff, but I did like it. I will still use masks even though they may not do much or I may not notice a huge difference. I'm still gonna use them. Um, and then I finished off a Cetaphil Moisturizing Lotion Mini. I actually really, really enjoyed this. It's my first time trying Cetaphil. I have a CeraVe lotion that I'm using right now for my face and I like both of them to be honest with you I think they're gentle and good for your skin and yeah I didn't mind it it was totally like simple and yeah I think it's I think it's fine <laughs> um the next thing I have is the Crim Shop Hello Kitty Shooting Stars Sheet Mask it's supposed to be like a brightening um uh, what does it say shimmering pearl intense glow vitamin c reduces blemish that's what it's supposed to do it's just cute and i bought it at tj maxx and then like a four pack so i finished this one and then i have two hair products to show you guys i finished off a fave four texture takeover oomph enhancing hairspray fave four is a great brand um i actually got this in college they came to um the color guard and the golden girls which is our dance team and they gave them they gave them and us a bunch of free products um and like we posted about them on social media you know like how it goes a little sponsored stuff um but their products are actually really, really good. I use their blowout balm. It is amazing. I actually need to repurchase it because I'm almost out. Um, but this is supposed to be for like texture and um, if you want to like get voluminous curls, like I used to spray it on my curls and then scrunch and then they'd be like big poofy curls would be great. So yeah, if you're looking for like a um, texturizing spray, definitely recommend. This brand is like so good and they smell good and they're salon quality. So yeah, anyways, um, the last thing that I have to show you guys is a Garnier Fructis conditioner. I don't like this, I hate it, but I had a bunch of these minis left over from every time that I would travel, I'd pick one up. And yeah, so I finally finished off all those minis. I don't have to ever look back at that again. I hated it so much. I felt my, like literally my, my hair felt different right after I washed it. So like, I know they're horrible for me. So yeah, that is everything for today's empties video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know it was a lot. Like I'm looking at my screen, it was 20 minutes of recording. So sorry if that was a really long video, but I finished up so much stuff and I'm really proud and I just wanted to share it with you guys. So I hope that you enjoyed this um, video. And if you did like comment and subscribe down below, let me know something that you finished up last month that you are super excited about. For me, it is definitely the six candles. Like I am literally killing it with the candles right now because I want to be able to shop for summer SAS. So I'm trying to get my candle collection in check. So we'll see what I can finish um, next month or this month now before June, before SAS starts. But um, yeah, that's everything for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.